It's now over 29 years ever since West Nile has been active in the boxing field. Arua City Boxing Club that was registered on 15th May 2021 is now the only registered boxing club in West Nile region. According to Oshino Rashid, the Arua City Boxing Club chairman, he looks at implementing the strategic plans of the club. Uh, we would like to look forward to the people to support us. We also want to support the people. We, we, want, we want to make sure that in the next two years, Arua Boxing Club again is recognized in the National Boxing Club under, under, under the management, under the, under the, under the management of, of the current president, Mohangi. We really want to show him that we're also in West Nile here with our boxers here. In last in two years to come, we want, we want to hit the national scene with a lot of strength, with a lot of creativity so that we also, create, we, also, we also create amazing events in the National Boxing Club. He also called upon support from other entities to help the boxing club in some of the challenges they are facing as boxers. The first challenge we have on ground is the lack of equipment. We also see boxing, boxing, is, boxing is a very expensive event. It needs a lot of, it needs a lot of, it needs a lot of investment in it. We don't have gloves. We don't have head gears. You can even see some of our exhibition, exhibition shows are boot without head gears. We don't have bandage. A lot of things on the ground that we still we are still lacking. But with this current support that I see West Nile TV has come on ground, I'm very grateful that we shall have a lot of support through the through the TV and also people who are watching us. I also encourage them. I'm asking them to, to, to give us to, to give us their total their total support so that we push the game to a certain level. Statistics now show most of the boxing clubs in Uganda have West Nile boxers who are actively involved in the boxing field. Aliobe Joseph, a veteran boxer in West Nile who was inspired by a former boxer Kenyatta in 1990, outlined the key factors that has led to the downfall of boxing in West Nile region. The biggest issue that led to the downfall of boxing in our region I would say, first of all, was an attitude problem. People's perception about boxing was associated with the hooligans, thugs, and thieves. That when you are trained, someone is trained, he becomes a social outfit. He goes to steal people. So people have a negative... Actually, I must say, people have a negative... Attitude about boxing. That is one attitude problem. If we change that attitude, I think the sky will not even be the limit for our region. That is one. Two, boxing is an indoor game. An indoor game is an expensive game. An indoor game needs money. An indoor game needs a promoter, needs a people. Uh, who are involved in financing the game. That's why if you look out there, there are great people who've made great names on this planet Earth. People like Muhammad Ali, people like Mike Tyson, people like Ho Vanda Holyfield. You know, those people were invested in. Like Tyson was, was, a, was, a, was a, I must say, he was a street boy. He used to do street fighting to make a living. And when they identify that talent, that old man put money in Tyson, invested in man, the money in Tyson, and Tyson became a world, a world title class boxer. Why? Because someone saw the talent in him and invested money in him and made him to be a business partner. In our region here, people do commodity business. You go to the shop, you buy a kilo of sugar, they give you money, and that's how businessmen who are prominent look at what business is. They don't look at investing business into talent grooming. That is the second reason why boxing failed. Sauda Muhammad, a 16-year-old female boxer who was inspired by her father, joined the boxing club for self-defense and to become a champion in Uganda. That's my dad. Who always, he could always call me that I should come and train. And sometimes when I used to be at school, children could undermine me. They tease me around, but I said one time I want to show them that 
I also want to become a champion. That's why I joined the Speed. I also want to raise. I also want to raise the name of Uganda. I also want to become a, a champion. Want to ride? That's why I joined the Club. Whereas Olekwa Kasim who wants to become the most famous boxer in Uganda, expressed the challenges first in the boxing field. I'm really fighting for the best. I need to be the, the most the most seen in, in screen. I want, I want to be famous in boxing. Uh, I'm struggling. I'm, fight, I'm fighting a lot to, to make sure I make it in future. Most of the challenges I face is uh, the support. The support uh, that is one of the biggest challenges I'm facing. Uh, actually, we are facing here in Arua and in Uganda. West Nile boxing was recognized by the Uganda Federation under the stewardship of now deceased former Uganda lightweight boxer Frank. Nyangwesa after Arua boxers knocked out Guru boxers in the competition that took place at the former White Rhino in 1992. Owen Ezaga, West Nile TV.